Here are five business stories making headlines in sub-Saharan Africa this week. Licensing rights for 30 oil and gas blocks in Democratic Republic of Congo went up for auction on Thursday, opening up parts of the world's second biggest rainforest to drilling. President Felix Tshisekedi says modern methods and regulations will limit the ecological impact. Activists and scientists warn that billions of tons of carbon could be released. Algeria, Nigeria and Niger have signed a memorandum of understanding to build a natural gas pipeline across the Sahara Desert, Algeria's energy minister has said. The three countries agreed in June to revive decades-old talks over the project, a potential opportunity for Europe to diversify its gas sources. Kenya's ethnic cohesion watchdog on Friday gave Facebook seven days to comply with regulations, after reported violations in relation to next month's election. Advocacy group Global Witness said in a report that Facebook had accepted and carried more than a dozen political advertisements, which ran afoul of Kenyan ethnic cohesion rules. Parent company Meta issued a statement last week saying it had removed hateful content ahead of the vote. ArcelorMittal South Africa's shares fell 10% on Thursday after saying poor rail service, labour disruptions and the country's worst ever power cuts had driven steel production down. The South African unit of the world's second biggest steelmaker produced a little over 1 million tonnes in the first half of the year, down 30% from the same period the year before. And finally, Central African Republic's digital coin got off to a slow start on Tuesday, with just over 5% of the target sold in the hours after its launch. Concerns over transparency and a wider downturn in the digital currency industry appear to have hampered the sale of Kars Sango coin, through which the government aims to raise almost 1 billion US dollars over the next year.